Right, I guess we're off to Gold Saucer today then. I'm interested to see how this all plays out. So in the original... I don't really know why you go to Gold Saucer. I don't think it's really implied that you have to or you should be doing. Obviously in this one it's implied that the black robes are going there. Because I assume Zethroth is there. But in the original I don't feel like that's as obvious. I know if you try and go just continue on and past Gold Saucer, you can't get past like the rivers because you need the buggy. Which I'm assuming we'll get by the end of this entire area. But yeah, you typically go there, you'd kind of go on a, a run around with one person. You can like take one person to explore Gold Saucer. And then you run into Cat Sith who does like a fortune telling for you and because of the mystical outcome of it he must know what it means and then just joins your group but that's the only reasoning behind it so I'm curious how they kind of accept him into the party and I wonder if it is going to be as soon as we get up there because I feel like we've only just got Yuffie so I wonder if it'll get dragged out a bit longer until we get him and then you end up in the battle arena, if that's in here, where there's been a murder or two by someone with a gun arm. And then we end up getting framed for it for some reason, even though we've got swords mostly. And then we end up in the desert prison. And then Barrett's little background comes into play, or backstory. And then we have to win a chocobo race to get out of the prison. And then we end up with a buggy. So let's see how it plays out in this version. Ready? Oh. Then let's get a move on. Head to the gold saucer. You will not be able to return to North Corral for some time. Yes. There's not many customers lining up, is there? This will take us all the way to the saucer. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. You should go back and uh, beat them up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. I told you. I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. Soot and porous dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dan. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Mm. <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. 
Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we had. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? ecstatic, convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. Saucer's waiting. how it's gonna be. Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever. The Gold Saucer! Huh? So turn those rounds upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right? Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. Something's coming! Whoa! 
This is incredible! The hell was that snake like ship thing that was over us? At least it looked like a snake esque ship. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, have a fun too, huh? You look like the uh, one having type. Is it going to cost me a small fortune to get into this place? Seems like a strange way to have an entrance to. Uh, a theme park. Is this like the main entrance? People have to go through the run-down coral city to get here? Feels more like a back door. Because we're also now in a staff room. So maybe like a staff entrance? Hello, what's this? Is the healing material? Oh, that's what those helicopters are for. They take you there. Those are the ones we saw flying over Costa del Sol. Makes a bit more sense. Yeah, your division is the space unit, which is not even doing anything to Sid's dismay. Cloud, the others are waiting. We certainly got the views up here, huh? Can I head up here and have a look? They're not going to let me look over the edge, are they? Or are they? <laughs> oh well. S just sky down there, apparently? Though I guess this is probably all... Like, CGI... Virtual reality-esque skybox. For the theme park, I imagine. Because... Either that or it's got dark very fast. And the stars are below us? I don't think it makes sense. Plus, where are those fireworks coming from? <laughs> Is that the buggy? Looks like the buggy to me. Buggy parking. This is our desert parking area. Access is reserved for guests with vehicles and their companions. I'll be back one day. Zombies walking around. Adventure. 
It's all very fancy. It's a challenge. We must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? You can do this, Cloud. I'm not dancing, am I? I thought I was fighting. Ugh, how did I get roped into dancing again? How the girls do it? Am I fighting or are we dancing? <laughs> What's going on? There is like a mini game where you do like fight, like rock, paper, and scissors almost. Left hook, right hook. Okay, it's like this, I guess. Is it turn based? Give me a right hook. Got him. Left hook. Sway to the left with the left stick. Oh, that was right, was it? I was still trying to get left. There we go. I assume he's not going to teach me this, so I need to recognize his, uh... Oh, right is God, okay. So if he does it with his right arm, I need to go left. Alright! 
So it's just when to attack, I've got to understand. Gotta recognize his movements. So that was a left one. That was a right one. Let's see if you have what it takes, young man. Okay, well, we traded blows there. Got him. Shit. Well. All right. Let me break. Wow, that was uh, quite the intro, huh? And you've got a new outfit for some reason. Cloud's used to performing in front of dogs. You should have seen him at the Honey Bee Inn. Eric. Well, you got to tell me that one later. I love, I love that everyone just knows how to dance perfectly when they're thrown into it. On the boat. Let's put it to a boat then. A teensy little break. All those in favor? Me. Me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay or nay? I, uh. Have your fun while you still have time. Hey, maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, I'm all right. Come on, man. I know this ain't to see. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? <laughs> well, the four of us are off. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Get some sleep, okay? Mm, let's see. The hotel's gotta be that way. Ghost Square, a haunted hotel. I guess I don't get to go 
around with the others, huh? Go with Barrett. And we got a glimpse of Cat Sith as well. But I want to run around and explore this. Speed Square. Event Square. Battle Square. Chocobo Square. Okay, okay, I'm just looking. So in the original, you kind of like jump down pipes and then just end up at a new area. I guess this is the equivalent, huh? Whoa! Fancy. So you don't normally stay in this hotel until later. <clears throat> you come back because you need the key for the Temple of the Ancients, which Dio has, the owner. So you end up coming back here later. Like when you've got the whole full party at that point. Somber skies. Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future light. Just let me go shoot in the messenger. You're eh? some kind of toy. You do, lads. Eyes up here. Huh? Okay, Seth. Fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. Huh. It's a toy, all right. Pretty life like this. Give us a smile. The gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back off. You We're not going to get our fortune told. So is he the same as the one that was in the opening? Or is there multiple of them, do we think? I mean, we did see him in Midgar, so he's definitely one from Midgar. You see him when the play falls. Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. Now. 
It is pretty fancy. We're going to play Queen's Blood with some ghosts. This is normally the shop. It's more of a bar this time. The clerk appears to be absent. Well, the clerk is normally someone that just drops down from the roof, like a hanged person or something. See if that's the case. All told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Hmm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. Uh, for crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir, but according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? Huh? Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Ah, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing, and to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, a timely cancellation. <laughs> The Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? <laughs> it feels so good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> Toodaloo! Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. Hmm. All about Fat Mog. So what's going on over here? Anything interesting in these paintings? What is this? It's like concept art is something, but... It can't be healthy for you to be uh, working upside down all day. There you are. The offer still stands. A fortune or two to steer you through. You can answer any question? Of course! Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you say? Oh, right! Hold on to your underpants! 
喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵。Are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last-minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What, indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Come on. Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black. We're done. Wait! Don't go. Third time's a charm. Come on, you stupid thing. Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek, and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. You good? Yeah, it's just what I cherish most. Um, see what this crap does. My apologies, sir. It's pretty much what you get in the original. And you always kind of assume that refers to Aerith? Odd. My readings are normally bang on. But this normally takes place in... Is it Wonder Square? Where all the, like, the arcade games are and stuff? I guess it can't technically be with Barrett in the original because he wanders off on his own. I think for me it was generally Aerith, but I think you can pick Tiffa, 13, or even Yuffie, I think. Fourth floor. Oh, uh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Goodness me! Oh. <laughs> Reservation under the name Palmer, Director of Space and Aeronautics. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, one moment, please. <laughs> It says here you cancelled those rooms. What? No, we didn't. <sighs> While we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Elagor suites, Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. <sighs> Is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. <sighs> Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, waitress! We've arrived. Farewell. We hope you have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. You don't normally see Palmer, I don't think, until Rocket Town. So he's here a bit early. You don't ever see the Turks here either. Starting this journey's seaside flea trap. 
I'm gonna head out for a bit. Cool. But not for fun, just to take a walk. Hey, you've been acting pretty weird lately, Cloud. Rest up and shake it off. You hear me? Yeah. I hear you. Sure thing, Dad. It's a fancy bedroom. Gross. Spiders on the roof. You're all going to sleep well tonight, huh? For God's sake. I was about to turn all this stuff off. Go to sleep? I mean, can we go do anything else? I feel like we probably can't do anything yet, right? That's what I thought. Oh wait, I'm moving Zach. Right, I was really confused on what the fuck was going on then. I thought I was just moving the camera. <laughs> I'm controlling Zach from Cloud's perspective? Right. I mean, that wasn't much of a talk, was it? seen material like this before something about the color didn't peg you as a bookworm Cloud in the wheelchair, reminiscence of how he is later on, towards the end of the game. When they find him in, is it Medeal or something?
back in Aerith's house. No flowers? Can kind of see like a rift in the sky there. Everything's seemingly dead. So everything's dying seemingly at a faster rate than in our version of reality or whatever. Marlene is still here. Would you care to join us? Definitely. I'm starved. <laughs> You're supposed to say thank you. Yes, ma'am. No, you're supposed to say it now. Thank you. Hey. Did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean Bix. He was just dropping off some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? You've seen those wanted posters all over town? Well, his face is on them. So long as Marlene's here, he'll come around again. He won't. Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. Nobody's coming back ever again. <laughs> sure they will. And I know just how to prove it to you. I'll go and get Biggs. Right now. Huh? Mean it? Always do. Honest and true. But <laughs> let me guess. You don't like dumb rhymes. <laughs> no, I like rhymes sometimes. <laughs> Not bad, kid. Not bad, kid. Again, I have more questions than answers, I feel. So Biggs, is he only alive in that reality? Not in this one? And judging that by that poster, everybody else is dead. Tiffa, Barrett, Jesse, Wedge. But why did Biggs survive? Hmm. So it would seem in that version of reality... The stuff with Avalanche and then bombing the reactors still went ahead, even though Cloud wasn't part of it. I guess that's maybe why they failed and are now dead. It's weird that they still met up with Aerith, though. Like, how did that come about? Because surely the only reason that they met up with Aerith was because of Cloud. But I guess that was because he fell from the reactor, but maybe when that reactor blew up, somebody else fell? Because maybe, like, Originally, Jesse, Biggs, and Wedge were meant to be on that mission as well, right? Who knows? Don't stare at me, statue. Creepy. Thought I'd come see how you were holding up. What? Nothing. Never mind. You're still under the weather, huh? No, I'm fine. 
Sleep helped. <laughs> so does that mean you'd be up for a little sightseeing with yours truly? Just so happens the Skywheel's running a special for couples. For couples? As in... I'll leave that up to your imagination. It's more fun that way. So is this the date section? Because that doesn't normally happen until later, but... It could be piling it all into one go, who knows. Uh, gold saucer points. Participate in park attractions to earn gold saucer points and GP. Then exchange your GP for illustrations, collector's items, as well as other useful trinkets at kiosks located around the park. Or is this just exploring the park section? Who knows? I wonder if this could be with... Could this be with, like, Tifa? Or is this mandatory to be with Aerith, I wonder? Because you could even go on a date with Barrett if you uh, do things right. Dine. He had a good arm. See you again soon. Oh, hey, Chads. Hello there, Cloud. It's not often I see you in the company of a single comrade. Oh, yes. I believe I understand the situation. Forgive me. I didn't mean to intrude. You're both overdue for a break. Enjoy yourself tonight. Thanks, boss. Can we buy anything from here yet? Just so you know, I was bitten by a zombie a few days ago. If you want to exchange your points, you'd better hurry before I turn. Uh-huh. Collector's item, a toy holding a felt knife that assumes rather amuses rather than kills. Okay, there is actually something useful for Yuffie. Some cards. Need 150 for that. So 250 I need. Really bothered about that. I guess 30 for that if we're gonna collect that as well. Don't really know Come what's the soon. point in them, but because I don't think I have that much time left. Ah, you'll be fine. Does Mummy News do anything? Come on then. Let's go explore this park. Uh, your golden guide. Speak to the robotic guide, Moogle, to fast travel from one area of the park to another. Where would you like to go, Kubo? So, we've got the welcome area. Park Central. Adventure World. Don't remember that one. Which I guess is... Okay, so it's split into like two areas, Adventure World and Fantasy World. So in Adventure World we've got Chocobo Square, which is where you can bet on Chocobo racing in the original. 
Speed Square was like the roller coaster shooting zapping game. That was like the uh, when we were on the minecart thing with Barrett and Yuffie. Battle Square was like the arena where you go through rounds of fighting with different parameters changing. And generally where in the original the murders happen and then we get thrown into prison. Because you can't normally even play it at this point. And we've got Fantasy World. So Event Square is the theatre which in the original you take part in. Again it's not normally at this point. It's normally closed at this point. Wonderment Square is normally where you bump into Cat Sith. And it's where you can play like the G-Bike, as you can see there. There's like the fighting thing we did at the beginning. There's some other mini games that unlock as you go through the game, like snowboarding and there's a like a basketball thing. I think there's like a it's like an arm wrestling thing. And then you got the ghost square, which is where we are now, the hotel. And then the skywheel square is like the... It's, it's like a, a tour around the park, and it's where the date section happens in the original. We look forward to serving you again soon, Koopo. Uh-huh. I think we'll walk. It's taking the sights, shall we? Back down we go. Whoa. 